I've been married now for 13 years. Yes. Yeah, and um, going strong. I think she's, yes. not I think, she's just the most precious gift that I could ever get. Our story is a story of success and uh, God is a God of a second chance. Yes. Uh, one of the things that we say is that our marriage has been born again. Yeah. And uh, the reason we say that is in our early, in our early years, mm. we, we really went through a storm. Yeah. And uh, we almost, we had actually ended our marriage. And then we got back again. We were in Nairobi at the time. Yeah, when things got so bad, I moved to Mombasa alone. Uh, that was in 20... 10 or 11? 2011. 2011. It was just um, a couple of so many things, you know, you know, not being able to understand one another, you know, and my expectations and what were kind of not met. And I just, you know, I just couldn't take it. Actually, one of the, one of the hardest things is to be a pastor's wife. Cause yeah. That was a big part because she was like, um, you're married to your church, you know, you and, and your church and ministry. Yeah. I think you, I think you give more time and more, 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 I mean, attention mm -hmm. to the sheep than you give to me. And, yeah. and so there was, there was a fight between, between the church and her and she felt out of place. You know, at one point she was like, I wish I was like your sheep because I think you give more time to your sheep than uh, you give to me. Yeah. By and by, then, you know, I just felt like, okay, is this it? Is this all that marriage can give? And just because of that, then, uh, you know, we started drawing apart and, 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 you know, just going, you know, going away from each other. You know, would be in the same house, but, you know, just like, any other person, you know, like your relative, but not, you know, not, not your spouse. You know, when you, you, you get into marriage and you're thinking that you're going to be the most important thing, then you realize that other things matter. So because of that, you know, I, I started resenting even, you know, just, you know, ministry. And, you know, because I felt that he had given so much attention to it and less attention to, to our marriage. And so there was that drawing, drawing apart. And uh, we'd reach a place where we said, okay, so when he was coming to Mombasa, I, I decided, okay, it's just as good as, you know, just calling it quits because he'll be there, I'll be here, and my life will move on, his life is, will move on, you know. Literally, we, want, we did not have a marriage. We were in a marriage, but not in a marriage. And that was our story until, you know, God turned it around. Uh, ultimately, it takes the two. Yeah. to resolve but sometimes mm. you need a third person, a third person with an independent in. eye mm -hmm. to look at the whole situation exactly and my early years i wasn't for it you know but uh, uh i gave in at some point and you know you you have this person sit you down mm -hmm. and you're able to see things just a little different and when you get True. back together the, there is a way forward so my encouragement to every couple is that when when it gets too hard, get help. Yeah. Don't die in. Get help, mm -hmm. and uh, it's able to help yeah. every every relationship get better. And we realize that ministry is not what comes first, but God comes first. Then your relationship to your spouse, and then your children, and then others. You know, others include ministry. You know, and uh, so we put our priorities in order, and uh, I I'm glad that um, now I can I can I can boast and I can say that surely God has been faithful. The differences that we have that that, that brought in the conflict was I'm more of a planner. You know, I, I plan everything that you know, and uh, my husband is a bit sometimes more spontaneous would sit down and uh, I would tell him, you know, we need to budget, we need to agree, we need to do one, two, three things. But he would not see sense in that. You, you know, you don't want to be caged, you know, so budget means 
being constrained, yeah. you know, account, 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 and sometimes doing that accounting bit is so tedious. But, you know, when I came around it and yeah. actually said, let's do the budget, is when, when you put it in black and white, then, then actually the, the stress that I had, because then here's the money, here's the budget, it's finished. So she'll not come back and put pressure on me. Yeah. But you see, when, she, when she's not in view, actually putting pressure on myself, because then if I, if I only took 15 minutes to go through the budget, we would be so sorted. For me, that, that, that area, just being able to bend a little, was, was a game changer. You see, he is my best friend, you see. So, you will tell your best friend everything. You don't want to hide things, stuff from, from your best friend. And so I believe that even when I tell him that I have this kind of money, so it's not like now when he knows that I have that kind of money, atanza kuipangia, you know, and he'll start saying, okay, now that we have that money, let's do one, two, three things. But he knows that even if I have it, it's for the good of the family, you know. And, and so that's the understanding that we have. That's the understanding that, you know, that we've grown up to and that God has really helped us, you know. I know initially when we started, it was not always that way. But God has helped us and we've grown to that level. Forgiveness is, is a very important uh, issue and, and a very important part in marriage. And each and every couple should, should, should have that, that, uh, that understanding. There's, there's always a thousand and one reason as to why that marriage is not working. But we should find reasons as to why we should stick together. Something we learned and uh, we've shared this before. It's, it's called the, the love triangle. You know, if, if this was, if this was uh, the love triangle and my wife is here and then I'm here and God is up here. So if we, if we begin to go upwards toward God, then we will get closer together and the distance in between will be lessened. But the more we are not together, then there will be a lot of things that will always come in between our relationship. So actually the bond that keeps the marriage is God. So if we imagine at the apex here where God is, if we all met in God mm -hmm. and right at that point, it's like a dot. So God and us are inseparable. So That's nothing true. can come in between them. Mm -hmm. So actually the secret of keeping the spark is God. So we both have to have an intention towards God. So when we are both rising towards God and we meet at God, mm -hmm. then there is no more gap. There is love. God is love. So we receive his love, we have love to share. Mm -hmm. We receive his peace, we have peace to share. Mm -hmm. We receive his joy, we have joy to share. Mm -hmm. So really, uh, that was the, the last but the most important mm -hmm. thing that has kept our, our bond.